Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace back again with another Mega Laserdisc Ads video. The first Laserdisc that I'm going to show you, I've had in my collection for years and years and years. However, I went to watch it the other day and it had a moderate amount of speckling. So I had to go to the Laserdisc database and flag it as having laser rot. It's the only defect that you can flag there. When I originally added this to my collection at the latest database, this was the only known release of this title. There is now a second known release of this title. This is the Laurel and Hardy film, Our Relations. It comes with the short, the Laurel and Hardy murder case, which is a parody of The Cat and the Canary. This is release M18. If I remember correctly, the other release that's in the database, the catalog reference number is 3M18. But in any event, it has one reported case of laser rot. This now has one reported case of laser rot. They both came out about the same time. So, 28 years old and it's still highly watchable and listenable. I just wanted to flag it for you on. Now, all the other releases I'm going to show you in this video, I've never shown you before. But in keeping with the spirit of laser rot, I'm going to start with one I know has laser rot because I watched it. However, while that release was 28 years old, this release is 32 years old. I'm trying to uh, complete my collection of MCA DiscoVision releases, of which this is one. The Touch of Love Massage. I did not know that they had released any adult titles. But apparently they had. MCA DiscoVision release 30-001. This is a single-sided release in CAV. It runs 27 minutes. Yes, this giant disc runs 27 minutes. Okay, as far as I know, none of the others that I'm going to show you have any defects. But we shall see what we shall see later on when I go to watch them. This is a Pioneer Artist release. It doesn't say so on the front of the jacket, but it does on the rear. This is the Tubes video. As I mentioned in the previous Mega Laser Disc Ads video, Pioneer Artists released a ton of titles in both 8 inch and 12 inch. More in 12 inch. This is Pioneer Artists release PA 97 579, meaning this is the 579th release by Pioneer Artists in 97 on 12 inch. Can't remember if I showed you the back or not. Okay, this next one is one I bought from Music and More in the Netherlands. It is not a Netherlands release, however. It is a U.S. release. I have already watched it. It plays perfectly. I think I can get away with showing the jacket. 
This is Penthouse, the all pet workout featuring nude workouts. Hey, I already showed you a laser disc that has nude massages, nude workout. Now, I mentioned in the previous video that um, Image Entertainment published a lot of porn. But when they started distributing for Disney, Disney said, you're out of the porn business, and Image promptly created a lot of dummy labels that they released porn under. And I mentioned uh, Creative Image, and I mentioned Apex. But I couldn't remember the other one. Well, the other one is A Vision Entertainment. This is release 50370-6. It is entirely in CAV. It's double-sided and runs 60 minutes. And wow, there was a lot of porn released on Laserdisc in the U.S. There was a lot of porn released in Japan on Laserdisc. And I would imagine Hong Kong, but I don't really know. Okay, this box set cost me $3. It's in like new condition. Now it says Twin Peaks Volume 2 on the cover, but it's actually Season 2, Volume 2. The episodes are Episode 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, and 2014. Released by Image Entertainment under license from World Vision Home Video. This is release ID 2571WV. This is the earliest volume they had at yesterday and today on the flea market. But it's in light new condition and it only cost me $3. Likewise, Twin Peaks Volume 3. Episodes 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. Image Entertainment Release, under license from World Vision, Home Video, Release ID 275. Zero W V. Another light new box release that cost me three dollars. Twin Peaks Volume Four. Episodes 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027. Episodes 2028 and 2029. This looks like that might have been a two-hour episode. Image Entertainment, under license from World Vision. Catalog reference number ID 2751WV. Like new condition, all the way around, three bucks. Okay, Image released these as box sets. I know because I have the box set that this is part of, but the box sets don't have individual jackets. Image also released them separately in their own jackets. This is Chaplin, Lost and Found, 
Mutual One. They also released uh, Chaplin, Lost and Found, SNA, those films. Released by Image Entertainment, under license from Media Home Entertainment. This is Cowboy Reference Number ID 6049 ME, Chapter 1, The Immigrant, Chapter 2, The Adventurer, Chapter 3, The Cure, Chapter 4, Easy Street. Restored in 1984, runtime 96 minutes. Manufactured by 3M, St. Paul, Minnesota, 55144. Okay, another box set that cost me three dollars. I will pr pretty much buy any music related title. Okay, produced in Munich, 19th and 20th, September 1983. I wish publishers didn't use the CD video logo because it's misleading. Did come with a insert. Okay. Much ado about nothing. That's the format that uh, Fox Video used, but this is a Fox Video release, Dolby Surround, Columbia TriStar Home Video, release 71756, 50 chapter markers, directed by Kenneth Branagh. This has to be letterboxed, but I'm not seeing it. This is not the kind of film they typically released pan and scan. Okay, another box set cost me three dollars. I already have a THX certified transfer of this movie. I'm not really all that excited about seeing the movie, but three dollars for a box set. I went ahead and got it. It's in widescreen. This is that far. THX certified transfer.
pristine widescreen film transfer produced under the THX Laserdisc program, which is how THX was originally known, the uh, THX Laserdisc program. Running commentary by director Chris Columbus. Over 30 minutes of scenes deleted from the theatrical release. On camera interviews with members of the cast and crew, including actors Robin Williams, Pierce Bronson, Harvey Firestein, director Chris Columbus, and producers Marcia uh, Garces Williams and Mark Radcliffe. Ex exclusive interview with legendary animation artist Chuck Jones. Behind the scenes footage of makeup tests and application, storyboards, animation, pencil tests production stills and shooting script, theatrical advertising including trailers and TV spots. This is Statfire is presented in its original or is presented in its theatrical aspect ratio of 2.35 to 1. Fox video release 8607-85 sides 4 and 6 are in CAV. These, I'm sure, are aftermarket. Although, near the end, Image Entertainment bought King Crane's Laserdisc business in order to have a distribution channel for their Laserdisc because many stores quit stocking them once DVD came out. Forty one chapters. However, chapters twenty five through forty one are all bonus material. I did give the catalog over the number, I believe. All the Vermeers in New York. Released by Image Entertainment under license from World Artists Home Video. Catalog number ID 2244WA. World artists generally were foreign films. I'm not seeing anything about English dubbed or subtitled or whatever. All the Vermeers in New York is presented in its theatrical aspect ratio approximately 1.85 to 1. Strand releasing. Full quote, a poignant romantic fable about the eternal discrepancy between art and life. Kevin Thomas, Los Angeles Times. Widescreen. Okay, I have all of these on DVD, but what the hey. Widescreen, Superman the movie. Two discs but not in a gateful jacket. This has 17 chapters on side one. No, 21 chapters on side one. 
8 on side 2 and 10 on side 3. That seems a little lopsided. 21 on side 1. Superman, the movie, is presented in a widescreen format preserving the scope aspect ratio of its original theatrical presentation. The black bars at the top and bottom of the screen are normal for this format. This is a reissue. Manufactured in USA by Pioneer Video. I know it's a reissue because it the catalog reference number is 12030A slash B. Whenever I see that A slash B, that means it's a reissue. Okay, this is in widescreen. Superman 2. Thirteen chapters, side one, fifteen, side two, ten, side three. Chapter ten on side three is the theatrical trailer. Catalog reference number one, two, zero, three, one. From Warner Home Video. I saw it in theater as well. I saw this next film in a theater and nearly walked out. This is in widescreen. Superman 3 with Richard Pryor. Oh, there's a pull quote. Superman 3 is the best yet, a hit, a delight, a super sequel. Richard Corliss, time. He needs to have his head examined. Fifth, no, 16 chapters, side 1, 12, side 2, and 12, side 3. Chapter 12 on side 3 is the theatrical trailer. Catalog reference number 12032 for Warner Home Video. Presented in its original theatrical aspect ratio of 2.35 to 1. The best in the series was the first. My own personal opinion. And yes, I went and saw Superman 4 and nearly walked out of it. And widescreen. Emma Thompson, the one, the only, Alan Rickman, who of course was in Galaxy Quest and the Harry Potter films as Professor Snape, and um, Bottle Shock and a whole host of films, Kate Winslet and Hugh Grant. Sense and Sensibilities. Sixty-six chapter markers. 
from Columbia TriStar. No video. Uh, let's see. Release number 11596. Aspect ratio 1.85 to 1. Directed by Ang Lee. Seven Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture, Winner, Best Screenplay. Wait a minute, is that right? Yeah. It says, Winner, Best Screenplay, Emma Thompson. She did write the screenplay. So what you know about that? Another box set cost me three dollars. In very good condition. Side 1, 47 minutes, 28 seconds. Side 2, 49 minutes, 14 seconds. Side 3, 42 minutes, 19 seconds. Side 4, 44 minutes, 12 seconds. Polygram video. English subtitles. CLV. Copyright 1991. The Deca Record Company Limited. Release 071-512. Dash one. This has a thick book. Okay, this is part of Image Entertainment's Cinema Disc Collection. The American Friend. If I remember correctly, this is a German film. Let's see. Gatefold jacket. Includes written interview with the American friend director Wim Wenders and art acting and Suicide Chair, an executive video interview with actor, artist, filmmaker Dennis Hopper. The American Friend is the best crime melodrama to open in longer than we should have to remember. Dennis Hopper gives possibly the best performance of his career. Roger Greenspun. Written and directed by William by Wim Winders. So forth and so on so on. So on. But that's say subtitles. Art acting and suicide here has a running time of twenty two minutes. Interview directed by George Hickenlooper. Image Entertainment under license from Pacific Arts Video. Catalog reference number ID. 5342PA for Pacific Arts. 
and this is in like new condition three dollars Okay, this is a Netherlands release. American Graffiti. I remember when this came out, the tagline was, Where were you in 62? Released by a Kick Video under license from Universal. Made in UK by PDO. That's Phillips DuPont Optical. Release 082876-1. Pan scan. And probably dubbed into Dutch. The only Andy Warhol film I ever saw in a theater was Andy Warhol's Frankenstein, which was released two ways, in 2D and in 3D. I happened upon a theater that was running it in 3D. And the one shot that I remember to this day, and I was in university when I saw it. There's this character that's disemboweling themselves. And then they fall dead on a sewer grate. And then the camera angle changes to a camera shooting straight up. Now remember, this is in 3D. And the intestines are dangling down. And then they start falling towards the camera. Anyway, this is not that film. This is Andy Warhol's Bad. Which it says right there is a cult classic. A movie with something to offend absolutely everybody. New York Daily News. From Image Entertainment and license from Nelson Entertainment. Catalog reference number ID 7563NL. Originally released theatrically by New World Pictures. If I remember correctly, it was a Roger Corman outfit. Yes, Andy Warhol liked to shock and offend people in the audience. Same could be said for Monty Python. It's one of the reasons why I love Monty Python. When some local theaters uh, refused to book Life of Brian, I went out of my way to find a theater that ran it and I've owned it on home video in various formats ever since. I also went and saw uh, The Meaning of Life because um, 
think it was Terry, uh, uh, Michael Palin. I think it was Michael Palin was on Letterman. And uh, he was quite proud of the fact that uh, the meaning of life had the longest vomit scene in motion picture history. Okay, this is known under two different titles. Leo Tolstoy's Anna Karenina and Anna Karenina. This film had a budget of around 35 million if I remember correctly and made I think around a hundred thousand in the US. I don't know what it made overseas. Of course anything I say if it doesn't sound right look it up because I am after all a human. Thirty seven chapter marks. Read the penguin book. Warner Home Video release one five three five four. And go with uh, Dolby Surround AC three uh, digital aspect ratio two point three five to one. I just watched a DVD that I bought of the Jackie Chan movie called. 1911. Massive battle sequences in that. He co directed it. It's mostly a Chinese propaganda film, which may explain why it cost 35 or 40 million dollars to make. And it <sighs> made something like 35,000 dollars in the US not good, which is why, which probably explains why the DVD I have, even though it's a US release, is on a label I never heard of before. Well, go entertainment. Oh, it's time for another box set. I have a box set for Aliens, which was manufactured by two different companies, so I have to keep stressing this. Uh, Pioneer Video, all the known copies made by them are bad. And then there was a much smaller batch made by Mitsubishi. Every known copy of that batch is good. I lucked out when I bought it used back in the day for $60. Mine was made by Mitsubishi and plays perfectly. This is the box set for Alien. This is not the only release of Alien I have on Laserdisc, however. In space, no one can hear you scream. I saw this at a drive-in, along with a double, it was part of a double feature. It was the bottom half of a double feature. The top half of the double feature was the Disney film, The Cat from Outer Space. So they ran The Cat from Outer Space, and then some guards left, and then they ran Alien. And there were a lot of people, as was common with drive-ins, lying on the front windshield listening to the speaker. And when they got to the test bursting scene, the whole place just Ah! Yeah. Took a lot of people by surprise. Special widescreen collector's edition. New digital video transfer surprised by Ridley Scott. CAV format for frame by frame analysis. Full color brochure including program notes and chapter listings. Exclusive collector's section including premiere presentation of outtake footage, interview with Ridley Scott, behind the scenes footage, HR Geigers. Paintings and drawings, conceptual artwork, rare production photographs, screenplay excerpts, 
metadata history of the film, theatrical trailer, and original advertising materials. Near, well, I would say near mint. It's somewhere between like new and near mint. Some people buy laziness and take things like this and frame them. I'm not going to encourage anyone to do that. In fact, there are people who take standard jackets, not box sets, but standard jackets, and they frame them. Especially if they're horror or sci-fi. This is in beautiful condition. Three dollars. Fox Video release one zero nine zero dash eight five encoded with Dolby Surround. Uh, it says special widescreen edition, but it doesn't say what the aspect ratio is. Music by Jerry Goldsmith. Who, of course, wrote an amazing score for the original Planet of the Apes with Charlton Heston. If you've never seen that movie, his score for that movie makes the movie. I've never seen this movie. This is supposedly one of the race, most racist movies ever made. It's kind of an ironic film. Birth of a Nation. When this film came out, the Ku Klux Klan was dying out. And this film led to a huge resurgence in membership in, in, in the KKK. What's ironic about this film is it was directed by D.W. Griffith. His next film after this was called Intolerance. 43 chapter markers, 1915 color tinted, it says stereo, that's for the musical score. Feature running time 187 minutes, not rated. This special edition of The Birth of a Nation includes the following special features. Mastered from original tinted print, Digital Stereo Orchestral Score, 24-minute documentary detailing the production of the film, including rare behind-the-scenes footage and more, a reproduction of the original souvenir program from the film's world premiere. Whenever I get silent films, I look for the Black Hawk Films Collection logo because they had or have the best source materials out there for silent films. They maintained their own negatives, they made their own prints, and back when they were a home video label, they did their own film transfers. Which is one of the reasons why I collect releases from Black Hawk Films on VHS. The program souvenir thingy mentioned on the back is missing. Now, you want to see something amazing? Box set. Star Trek the movies box set. Wide screen. This includes Star Trek the motion picture, Star Trek II the Wrath of Khan, Star Trek III the Search for Spock, Star Trek IV the Voyage Home, and Star Trek V the Final Frontier. The discs are in individual jackets. Comes with a note from Gene Roddenberry, creator of Star Trek. List of other Star Trek releases on Laserdisc. Only a 
small fraction of them. This is really cool. Funny thing is, I have each of these films on the release that use those jackets. Those are reproductions of the jackets. For those particular releases, each of these films were released on Lasers numerous times. Okay, do I have time for anything else? No, I'm going to stop now. Until next time, stay awesome. Bang. Hello, YouTubers. This is Cessna Ace back again with another Mega Laserdisc Ads video. The first Laserdisc that I'm going to show you, I've had in my collection for years and years and years. However, I went to watch it the other day and it had a moderate amount of speckling. So I had to go to the Laserdisc database and flag it as having laser rot. It's the only defect that you can flag there. When I originally added this to my collection at the Laserdisc database, this was the only known release of this title. There is now a second known release of this title. This is the Laurel and Hardy film, Our Relations. It comes with the short, The Laurel and Hardy Murder Case, which is a parody of The Cat and the Canary. This is release M18. If I remember correctly, the other release that's in the database, the catalog reference number is 3M18. But in any event, it has one reported case of laser rot. This now has one reported case of laser rot. They both came out about the same time. So, 28 years old, and it's still highly watchable and listenable. I just wanted to flag it for you all. Now, all the other releases I'm going to show you in this video, I've never shown you before. But in keeping with the spirit, 14. Released by Image Entertainment under license from World Vision Home Video. This is release ID 2571WV. This is the earliest volume they had at yesterday and today out at the flea market but it's in light new condition and it only cost me three dollars likewise Twin Peaks volume three episodes 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. Image Entertainment Release, under license from World Vision, home video, release ID 2750WV. Another light new box release that cost me three dollars. Twin Peaks Volume 4. Episodes 
episodes 2028 and 2029. It looks like that might have been a two hour episode. Image Entertainment, under license from World Vision, catalog reference number of Laser Rot. I'm going to start with the one I know has Laser Rot because I watched it. However, while that release was 28 years old, this release is 32 years old. I'm trying to uh, complete my collection of MCA DiscoVision releases, of which this is one. The Touch of Love Massage. I did not know that they had released any adult titles. But apparently they had. MCA DiscoVision release 30-001. This is a single-sided release in CAV. It runs 27 minutes. Yes, this giant disc runs 27 minutes. Okay, as far as I know, none of the others that I'm going to show you have any defects. But we shall see what we shall see later on when I go to watch them. This is a Pioneer Artist release. It doesn't say so on the front of the jacket, but it does on the rear. This is tubes video. As I mentioned in the previous Mega Laser Disc Ads video, Pioneer Artists released a ton of titles in both 8 inch and 12 inch. More in 12 inch. This is Pioneer Artists release PA-97-579 meaning this is the 579th release by Pioneer Artists in 97 on 12 inch. can't remember if I showed you the back or not. Okay, this next one is one I bought from Music and More in the Netherlands. It is not a Netherlands release, however. It is a U.S. release. I have already watched it. It plays perfectly. I think I can get away with showing the jacket. This is Penthouse, the all-pit workout featuring nude workouts. Hey, I already showed you a laser disc that has nude massages, nude workouts. Now, I mentioned in the previous video that um, Image Entertainment published a lot of porn. But when they started distributing for Disney, Disney said, you're out of the porn business, and Image promptly created a lot of dummy labels that they released porn under. And I mentioned uh, Creative Image, and I mentioned Apex. But I couldn't remember the other one. Well, the other one is A Vision Entertainment. This is release 50370-6. It is entirely in CAV. It's double-sided and runs 60 minutes. And while there was a lot of porn released on Laserdisc in the U.S., there was a lot of porn released in Japan on Laserdisc. 
and I would imagine Hong Kong, but I don't really know. Okay, this box set cost me three dollars. It's in like new condition. Now it says Twin Peaks Volume Two on the cover, but it's actually Season Two, Volume Two. The episodes are episode 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, and 2000.